The video game and the footage you're about to witness is rated R for RUN THE F*** AWAY KITTIES THIS IS GONNA GET MESSY Viewer discretion is advised, mild seizure warnings, yada yada, have fun! What's going on guys? My name is Manamega and welcome back to Let's Play Doom! In the last episode, we managed to get back here to the Argent facility which has been completely overrun by the demons. I mean, come on, this place is now a shithole. <laughs> I mean, everyone was dead before we last time we came here, so it was already kind of a shithole, but now it's even worse of one. I mean, look, everything's on fire now. It wasn't like that before. I mean, yikes! <laughs> And our goal this time round th through uh, this uh, this old facility that we've already run through once, uh, as a matter of fact, is to try and find a way to close up, um, uh, yeah, that. That, right there. That is the hell portal that Olivia Pierce managed to open up, and, uh, well, I mean, there's demons everywhere. I mean, I don't need to say much more than that. So we got to try and find a way to close the whole thing up. So right now, we're just trying to find our way through the facility, and, uh, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what old Sammy Sam wants us to do at this point. I'm not sure I care either, but we haven't exactly got a whole lot of choice. Anyway, first thing we are going to do is take one of these gravity lifts up. Right off the bat, right out in the open, here's an elite guard. I mean, goddamn, they're not even trying to hide these guys anymore. <laughs> hmm. Things are a little too quiet. Did I explore all... Oh. We also have a staircase here. I don't know if it actually, like, goes anywhere, but... At least have a look, because, hey, I'm an explorer. At least I try to be. Keyword there is try. <laughs> Hello. Now. Oh. At least, uh... I know where the pinky went. Can I help you? Didn't think so. Alright, but yeah, we got more demons to deal with here. And still, no, chainsaw fuel. I mean, come on. I need to get that challenge completed by the end of the mission. I mean, y yikes. Alright, I'm not going to waste any time with the caca demons because, again, these guys are instant kill. So, it's probably best to make them... If not your first priority, pretty high up there. And of course, these guys are just, you know, high enough on my shit list as it is, so they can die too. So can you. Death to all demons! Not because you're threatening our livelihood. No, it's because... Fuck you, I want you dead. <laughs> Alright. Where'd you go? Stop hiding. Come on, come out. Oh, fuck! That thing was actually smart! I was not expecting it to have gone through the canal! <laughs> okay, I'll give it props. I did not expect it to do that. That's actually really smart. There's not another one of those doing that, is there? Oh, there is you. Yep. Rip off your tail and... Actually, it's more funny if I say if I rip off your ass and beat you over the head with it. <laughs> I'll make you wear your ass as a hat! You... You... Ass hat! Wait, I used that as an insult already. <laughs> no, wait, I used that to address my best friend. So, I mean, that's, that's not even an insult coming from me. <laughs> it's just funny. Right. Well, that does it for that at the very least. There's nothing around in this area, is there? No, but we do have a dud log and the field drone just up ahead. So, you know, stuff to look forward to. What say you, dud log? Ah, the mancubus! Alright. The bizarre physiology could also be the undo- I was like, this is- I think this is kind of, you know, what kind of implies why it, uh, Oh, okay, that's it. Um, so when their organs are exposed, then they'll explode violently. So pretty much we expose it to the air, then shove it down their throats, at which point it's already set to blow, and then, uh, boom! Still quite a satisfying explosion, if you ask me. Moving on, anyway. 
field drone! You bitch! You bitch! <sighs> okay. And what else do we have? Oh! Gornest! Chance of fuel, chance of fuel, chance of fuel. Is there chance of fuel anywhere? I need to kill exactly five demons with the chainsaw in this mission. I can do so against five unwilling if only I can get one thing of chainsaw fuel. Please game for the love of God. Because if you... S <gasps> ah. Okay, I'm going to need more than just one. Fuck you too, buddy. Okay. So, easiest way to get this challenge done, just use transfer on unwilling. They only take up one portion of fuel per kill. Now, all I need to do, you know, among that's horrifying sight, which is so awesome, by the way. <laughs> I'm not a psychopath. Um, I need more fuel. So, I need to get more fuel and make two more kills by the end of the chapter. God damn. I hope I do. Hey, go honest. How did I get in flight mode? I wasn't even in the air. <laughs> Hello, mega health. Actually, you know what? You can stay there for a moment. I'm going to save you for just the right time, baby. <laughs> All right, boys. Let's play Doom 2016 part 13 plus whatever the hell I name it as a subtitle because that is what the name of this video is. I don't plan out the subtitles for these videos in advance, guys. I'm, I mean, I mean, I gotta edit the video and then make the thumbnail first. <laughs> Boop! And what do you know? Look at that, guys. You just got, you just got a little inside of you on, uh, on kind of my creative process here. In fact, most of the time, my, the, what the, whatever the hell I name the episode is based off whatever I, you know, put as a thumbnail. Oh, at least for this stuff. I mean, you know, sometimes it's just stuff that's in the episode and the thumbnail is just, hey, this is nothing that goes on. I like things to be simple and, you know, kind of concise. It's what I'd like to say, but I'm pretty sure I've got just some, you know, asininely, you know, basic reason for doing what I do. There's a Baron of Hell here. I don't even know I can explain because it it's so basic and I try to sound smart, in which I'm really not. Yikes. Okay. Mega health, it is time. There we go. <laughs> Alright. We're nearly at our fourth point for combat rating. Now. This room has got a couple of things for us to do. And I hope that one of those things involves uh, a little more chainsaw fuel. If you catch my drift. Actually, you don't even need to catch the drift. I kind of just spelt it out like plain obvious. Oh yeah, don't fall on that. Uh, that is uh, very obviously electrified. Yep. Yeah, no thanks. I'm not buying what you're selling. And where are you going, buddy? To the right. All right, good to know. I'm going to have a... <sighs> Better than chainsaw fuel, we found just another chainsaw in general. So now, there's three more ammo for us. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. What else is actually around here for us? Hmm. I think what I may want to do is I'm going to go back across uh, the... Uh, the death water here. How many years ago was that video? Oh well, you guys know me right now. I love dead memes. Death water. Anyway, that's not the right button. Reset crane to base. So now the crane is going to pick up that container right there and move it in my direction, so I can make the controller stop vibrating because the compass is clearly going off once again. We'll jump on up here. Find a little secret area. There you are, you bitch. 
Now this, the next one is going to be for the uh, for the chain gun, and oh god, both of these are great. I love both of these uh, these mods for the chain gun. But what do I want? One of them gets the rotors up to speed, so I don't have the entire wind up. But the other one turns into a goddamn turret. Oof. Choices. For the sake of entertainment, I think I'll go with the mobile turret first. It's goddamn, it's fun. So here is our codex entry on the mobile turret. Fires at twice the normal rate of fire and expends twice the ammunition. And also overheats the muzzle. It's great. That's... Wow, I have 10 points already. Drastically decrease the transformation time. Well, that is fantastic. I would love that. Bolts penetrate through targets. That also sounds great. I'm going to have another little look through what else I can do here. You know, as much as I love the charge burst, I have not been using it much. But I think the main reason for that is because Super Shotgun exists. <laughs> uh -huh. Increase the amount of heat that can be contained, resulting in more potential. That Ooh. That sounds alright, if I ever go back to the plasma rifle, now that I have the, the Gorse Cannon. I mean, Gorse Cannon's really all you need. <laughs> Lock on burst. Um... Have I really been suffering for the recovery time? Not really all that much. Yeah, fuck it, I'll go for the uranium coating. It's good. Oh. Kill four or more demons during a single mobile turret deploy five times. If we do that, we get ultimate cooling, which means that the mobile turret will no longer stall. Yeah, this thing is really cool. We hold down L2. And this thing just expands. Like the codex entry says, it fires twice the amount and uses up twice the amount of ammunition. And also, um, I think our movement speed. Actually, I don't see much of a difference at all. This is very much workable. Yeah, that'll do just fine. But uh, the most important thing that you need to know is the fact that Jesus Christ. Whew. Actually, I should show this off in the next big fight. Anyway. Uh, is there anything else up on this? No. Alright. So, we're actually going to uh, progress. God forbid. I'll start by going this way because I did see... Okay, here's a good point. And, ah, ha, ha, ha. and now it's overheated. Okay, that didn't look quite as impressive as it should have, but trust me. It's really good. <laughs> anyway, we can finally come over this way because look where we are on the map, guys. And what's that over there? Oh, well, what do you know? Oh, yeah, mega health. Anyway. So now... We have another secret found and another rune trial. So what do we have? Use the combat shotgun to eliminate all targets before the timer expires. Health levels are critical. Use armor to survive. Right. So, we need to kill 8 targets in 1 minute 10 seconds with only a shotgun at critical health and we needed to rely on as much armor as we can get. By completing it, we get armor defensive, which means glory killing demons drops armor. That could be pretty damn useful. Alright, let's get it started. Okay, so let's see how I go with this. Do I have any weapon mods on me? I do have charge burst. So that's always a good thing. So there's two targets down. Oh god. Thankfully, get right up in an imp's face and alone take one shot. But I do need to be very careful because A, Hell Knight, and there's a soldier around as well. Jesus Christ! Note to self, kids. Don't take your eyes off your target. Also, another note to self, kids. This game is rated R, like I said in the intro. Why are you watching this? Go do your fucking homework. Also, don't use that word around your parents. But I won't tell if you don't. Oh, jeez. 
Oh. Yep. Okay. There goes the Hell Knight. So the rest, theoretically, should be smooth sailing. But um, when the hell have I ever been able to put something into practice very well? Alright, stick. Oh, fuck! By the way, I should make it clear, kids. Uh, the bad word I said before, it wasn't fuck, it was homework. So, uh, keep that in mind. I have no excuse for this. Come on. Underlay, underlay! Wow, one charge burst did it. Sweet. Oh, fuck you too. Okay. One more. Where are you? No, seriously, where is it? Wet. Oh. <laughs> right. Well, um... Should be of note, uh, be very observant of your surroundings and don't take your eyes off whatever the hell's chasing you. Because, uh, they can and will hit you from behind. And they'll be very happy to do so. They're demons, what do you expect? Alright, back in the saddle here. So now we have armor defensive. So if we equip that, then demons that we glory kill can now drop armor for us. What would really be useful is if we had one where our glory killing demons would drop uh would drop ammo. Yeah, that'd be uh that'd be pretty good, I reckon. Yeah, wink wink, nudge nudge. <laughs> right, let's keep moving ahead here. Yeah, obviously there's gonna be more demons stuff ahead, because you know, I mean they're everywhere. Hello. Um, well first and foremost, you need to leave. Second and foremost, two of you need to meet a very, very grim end. Third and foremost, uh, I need that. And uh, fourth, um, well, pretty simple, fuck you. I feel pretty satisfied with that, really. <laughs> Alright, four points in the combat rating so far. Can we go for five? Well, I hope so, because if we don't, then it means I have to redo the level. And none of us want that. Trust me. Okay, well, if it means I can punch a few things in the face again, I might be willing, but still. I mean... If I can get away without repeating something, I, uh, I most certainly will. Ah, another gore nest. And... Goddamn! <laughs> I really need to stress just how much oh, I love Siege Mode. <laughs> it just annihilates things. I mean, how can you not? <laughs> That's right. I still have a thing. All right, another Codex entry on the Cacodemons. Uh, read as you will. And also, uh, you know, just a reminder that we got this thing. Alright. Another Gore Nest. What will be my weapon of choice? I say Marble Turret. Alright. My wake up call to you all is fuck off! I do need to be very careful of the overheating though. <laughs> Oh, I don't think I actually mentioned that about the Revenants. Uh, so, if you don't completely destroy them when you kill them, um, what they can do is essentially do what is kind of sort of a desperation thing, where they try to kamikaze into you. Kind of. I mean, most of the time it seems like they're pretty out of control, so... But uh, if they do hit you, I mean, it does explode, and explosions hurt, so... Uh... It's going to take a lot of mummy kisses to get that better. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, that's down. I just really don't want to deal with your shit right now. I should not have done that so close to an explosive barrel. God damn. <laughs> well, mistakes were ma There was another... Ugh. There was a haste here. That would have been so much fun. <laughs> and... Oy, fuck my life. But anyway... Anyone else hear that? You hear that too, right? Where's that coming from? I didn't leave any demons alive down there, do I? Hmm. By the way, I am gonna jump over here because right down. Fuck! Where is it coming from? I'm actually legit curious now. This this is it sounds like a demonic voice, and I mean, you know, if it's part of the background noise, it's very fitting. It's also very disorienting. <laughs> it's alright. I think one last good fight will do us for the combat rating at the very least, because we only have a quarter of the way to go on the last point. I do need to jump back over here because just over here is our argent cell. And this is going straight into ammo. Mmm, pump it through my veins. <sighs> Feels good, man. Feels good. Especially to carry so much ammo. I mean, I'm 75% gun. I mean, there's not much human under the skin. It's just all, it's all gun. It's all artillery. <laughs> I mean... Doom guy! I mean, he's big doom for a fucking reason. <laughs> right, anyway. We'll head on through this door. Do you do something? No, you just look like you do something, but you don't. So you're a lie! Okay, it's not your fault. I'm sorry. There's <laughs> more demonic shit going on. And... More vibrating of the controller because compass. You're not gonna come to life too, are you? I'm fully expecting it. Ew. But at least we got our key. Huh. You cannot send a team in to retrieve it. I am the head of this corporation. All your work and discoveries here belong to me. He was mine before you even found him. You know, Sam, you're, uh, you're not doing a whole lot to prove that you're not just a complete and utter dickwad, dude. <laughs> I mean, come on. Anyway, as we might be able to see from the map, there is a level just above us. And as the compass won't shut up, but you know, I welcome it because it shows me where things are, so I don't really have to remember very much. Now, the little Doom guy. This one looks patriotic as fuck. I mean, to you guys, like on the other side of the planet, I mean. <laughs> the Baronet Hall model, Patriot guy. It's Captain America guy. Which probably isn't a very apt comparison considering just how murderous we are, and Captain America is like, you know. Well, I mean, there was the Hell Hydra thing. Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> anyway. We can now access yellow doors. Whee! And we are back down by uh, where that crane was. Which leaves the only way for us to... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. See? Now, here's an actual lesson, kids. Always, always look at the map. But still, go, go and do your homework. And stop watching this. This is 
these words are not safe for your ears, especially with all the shit that YouTube's trying to pull at the moment. <laughs> I mean, I'm, times like this, I'm almost thankful that I don't get paid for this shit. <laughs> I mean, I would be very thankful if I got paid for this shit, thanks a lot, YouTube, but uh, just saying. <laughs> but with that, that's pretty much does it. That's everything right there. That's all the secrets, all the challenges, the elite guards, the field drawing, the odds and sell, the rune trials, everything. All we need is one more good fight. Then uh, we can go home happy. Hmm. I'm not sure if it's a good one, but at least we'll get a fight. Hello, boys! Goodbye, boys. Yeah. Alright, so this must be the train that's going to take us to the Lazarus Labs. We, uh... We just got a, a very, very confused escort. UAC ready for departure. Oh god. Please be seated. The tram is now ready to depart. The UAC's advanced research complex will be our final destination. Oh god. No, 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 that's the end of the level, and I still haven't got... <sighs> I went over the entire map, I was... I... Guess I missed some demons somewhere, because I only barely just missed out on the final point for the... There's no way I can, like, get some more in. Is there? No. This, no. Uh, I can still get back out of here. That's actually surprising. Um. Yeah, doubtful. Alright. So this is gonna be a mission I'm gonna have to redo. But, thankfully, it's only combat rating. So I don't actually have to record anymore for you guys. <laughs> I mean, if, if it was a case, like, in the Foundry where I had to redo a challenge... Yeah, I would show off how I did it, absolutely. But considering it's combat ranking, which the only thing you really have to do is just kill everything in sight, you guys kind of get the picture. So I'll end the mission now and I'll come back and replay this later so I can get that last challenge point. Challenge point, combat point, whatever. Anyway, but the point is, now we may continue on. Uh that looks so unsatisfying. At the very least, we got everything else. And again, if it's only combat rating, I can just come back and kill more demons later and you guys won't be missing very much. So, uh, at least there's that. But in any case, we have gone through the uh, destroyed Argent facility and we are on our way to Lazarus Labs, which, by the way, Olivia Pierce herself was in charge of. If uh, you were paying attention to the lore up to this point, uh, if you were keeping up to date on that, I mean, all those of you who were, good job, guys. If not, uh, read more, you bastards. <laughs> but we'll head on that way now, and uh, it seems like we'll get some more info on uh, how exactly we can stop this whole mess. But in any case, thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, guys, my name is Matt Omega, and I'll see you guys later.